hacking the 3020 CNC engraver for on, off, and east out window control. This particular engraver is by Veva and is the four axis version. The axis controller sports a spender controller, a three axis stepper driver for XYZ, and a single axis stepper driver for the fourth axis. As so, the spindle on this machine is manually controlled. That is, with everything set up and ready to go, you switch on the spindle, you set the speed, then run your program. Once complete, switch the spindle off. Now that does work, and it works just fine, with one exception. When using this manual switching, emergency stop does not stop the spindle. A major negative in my book. Major. The good news is that it doesn't take much to gain on off spindle control via pendant, no uh, NC program, and a stop. All right, so let's get to it. On the spindle controller sits an XH series four pin connector. Two of these pins are marked as a switch. With the power on, spindle off, and speed part up, Closing this switch turns the spindle on. Opening it turns it off. Simple enough. Now what's needed is an electronic switch. Well what do you know? On a three axis driver board sits an unused relay. There must be a glitch in the matrix. There must be, because this is just way too damn easy. Making these connections is all that is needed for the hardware side of things. Connecting things up. Step one, always step one. Turn off the power and disconnect the mains. For the spindle controller, a pre-wired female socket is needed. This can be a JST XH4 position or a hard one M2023 or 4 position, which I actually found in my stack of unused computers. Regardless of choice, only two wires are needed. On the relay side, strip about an eighth of an inch and connect to the relay terminal. The wires can be connected either way since this is a non-polarized connection, as long as one is connected to common and the other to normally open. And the hardware is done. Set the axis controller to power on, spin it off, speed part up, and make sure the e-stop is reset. Now we're on to Mach 3. Okay. We need to go to config, ports and pins, and we need to travel to the spindle setup tab. Once there, we need to enable the spindle relays. And we need to take note that it is set for output number two. Keep that in mind, you're gonna need that information. Next down here, we'll see the clockwise delay spin up. I got mine set to five seconds, and there's a reason for that. Spin up refers to the time that it takes for the spindle to reach operating speed from word go. In my case, five seconds. Now, when M3 is in counted, Mach 3 will pause the program for five seconds to allow for spin up. A word here, by default, Mach 3 is set to use seconds versus milliseconds. And under general configuration, if the G04 dwell in milliseconds is checked, then my five seconds will have to be entered as 5,000 milliseconds. But it's not. So five seconds it is. Click apply. We are on a roll here. Next, we need to scoot you on over to output signal and clickety click, 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 enable output number two. I only have one pair of lab ports, so it's number one. The pin number is 16. In my case, it's pin 16 that triggers the onboard relay. Yours might be different, but we'll get to that later. Check active blow. Now, if after you click reply, and the spindle comes on when it should be off, and off when it should be on, then uncheck active blow and again click apply. It's that simple. All right, 
Let's hit reset and go to diagnostic screen. When you click spindle toggle, you should see output number two flashing. And after a few seconds, the spindle should start spinning. If it's not, make sure that your spindle part is up. If it's still not working, then try a pin other than 16. Toggle again and the flashing should go out and the spindle should stop. On now to the program run screen. Here we have another spindle toggle along with its keyboard shortcut. See, they're giving you tips here. They say F5. So let's push F5 and the spindle come on. Push it again and the spindle come off. That'd be like, that, that's really cool. Now that we got that, let's, uh, let's turn it back on and let's test the hard E stop. Oh man, we're good to go. We are good to go. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that is to try it in a CNC program. So I wrote myself a little program here. And we're going to click start. See what happens. Man, that works just perfect. I love it. Well, this has been my video, and I hope you find this useful. Uh, if you feel like liking it, like it. If you don't, then don't. You know, it's, it's all good. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good day. You have your choice here.